Hey everyone, have you ever stopped to wonder if our entire universe is just an advanced computer simulation created by a higher intelligence? Let's dive into this mind-bending concept known as the simulation hypothesis. Imagine this, right now you're watching this video, maybe on your phone or computer, everything feels real, right? But what if I told you that, according to some philosophers and technologists, there's a chance we might actually be part of an incredibly complex computer program designed by a higher intelligence. The idea isn't just science fiction, it stems from serious academic thought. Nick Bostrom, a philosopher at Oxford University, presented this theory in 2003. He suggested that if future civilizations have enough computing power, they could run simulations of their ancestors. Us! Why would they do this? Think about why we run simulations today to predict weather, to model economies, or even for entertainment. For a civilization centuries more advanced than ours, their simulations would be indistinguishable from reality. But how could we ever know for sure if we're in a simulation? Well, that's where it gets tricky. Some scientists suggest that glitches in our universe, like inconsistencies in the laws of physics, could be signs that we're living in a simulation. Others propose that if we ever reach the point where we can create our own realistic simulations, it might suggest that we ourselves are likely a simulation. Mind-twisting, isn't it? So what does this mean for us on a personal level? If we are in a simulation, does anything we do really matter? Philosophers argue it changes nothing and everything. Our lives, our choices and our feelings are real to us. And perhaps understanding the nature of our reality is just another chapter in the human quest for knowledge. Whether we're living in base reality or in a code-generated universe, the questions and explorations of our existence push the boundaries of understanding, technology, and even what it means to be human. What do you think? Are we real or just incredibly sophisticated lines of code? The simulation hypothesis has roots that go back much further than you might think. Philosophers like René Descartes pondered the nature of reality and the possibility of deception by an external force. Descartes famously said, I think, therefore I am, suggesting that the act of thinking is proof of our existence, even if everything else is an illusion. Fast forward to the 20th century and we see the rise of digital technology, which brought new dimensions to these age-old questions. The advent of computers and the ability to create virtual worlds made the idea of a simulated reality more plausible. So, what does science have to say about the simulation hypothesis? Some scientists point to the strange behaviours observed in quantum mechanics as potential evidence. For instance, the double-slit experiment shows that particles can behave like waves and particles depending on whether they are observed. This has led some to speculate that our universe operates on a form of quantum code. Additionally, researchers have found patterns in cosmic background radiation that resemble computer code. While these findings are far from conclusive, they add intriguing layers to the discussion. The philosophical implications of the simulation hypothesis are profound. If we are living in a simulation, what does that mean for concepts like free will and morality? Are our actions predetermined by the code or do we have genuine agency? These questions also extend to ethical considerations. If we are indeed simulations, what responsibilities do our creators have towards us? These are questions that philosophers and ethicists are only beginning to explore. What this means for our understanding of life, death and the universe. Finally, let's consider what the simulation hypothesis means for our understanding of life, death and the universe. If we are in a simulation, does death mean the end or just a reboot? What about consciousness? Is it a byproduct of complex code or something more? Uh, and what about the universe itself? Is it infinite or just a vast complex program? These questions push the boundaries of our understanding and challenge us to, to uh, think deeply about our place in the cosmos. Whether we are in a simulation or not, the quest for knowledge and understanding continues to drive us forward. So, are we living in a simulation? The jury is still out, but the exploration of this hypothesis opens up fascinating avenues for thought and discovery. What do you think? Are we real or just incredibly sophisticated lines of code? Let's keep the conversation going. 
drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this exploration into the simulation hypothesis, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Remember, whether in a simulation or not, keep questioning the reality around you. The simulation hypothesis has roots that go back much further than you might think. Philosophers like René Descartes pondered the nature of reality and the possibility of deception by an external force. Descartes famously said, I think, therefore I am, suggesting that the act of thinking is proof of our existence, even if everything else is an illusion. Fast forward to the 20th century and we see the rise of digital technology, which brought new dimensions to these age-old questions. The advent of computers and the ability to create virtual worlds made the idea of a simulated reality more plausible. The concept evolved further as computer simulations became more advanced, making it easier to imagine a world where our very existence could be a product of code. This brings us to the modern era, where the simulation hypothesis has captured the imagination of both scientists and the general public. Movies like The Matrix popularize the idea, but serious academic discussions have also taken place. Researchers in fields ranging from quantum physics to cosmology have begun to explore the possibility that our universe is a sophisticated simulation. The hypothesis isn't just a thought experiment, it prompts real scientific inquiry. Some scientists are even looking for empirical evidence that could support or refute the idea. For instance, they are examining the fundamental constants of nature to see if they exhibit properties that would be expected in a simulated universe. So, whether you're a philosopher pondering the nature of existence, a scientist seeking empirical evidence, or just someone fascinated by the possibilities, the origins of the simulation hypothesis offer a rich tapestry of thought and exploration. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the scientific theories and evidence that could potentially support this mind-bending hypothesis. Scientific theories and evidence supporting the simulation hypothesis. Computational limits and physical laws. Some scientists propose that the universe's physical laws might be akin to a set of programmed rules, similar to those in a computer simulation. The finite speed of light and quantum mechanics might indicate computational limits. Quantum mechanics. Quantum phenomena, like entanglement and superposition, suggest non-classical information-based underpinnings of reality. This could imply a simulated environment where particles exist in multiple states until observed. Cosmic fine-tuning. The precise constants in the universe that allow life to exist might be seen as parameters set by a creator of the simulation. Digital physics. The theory that the universe is describable by bits of information, similar to a computer's binary code, supports the idea of a simulated reality. Philosophical arguments. Nick Bostrom's argument posits that if advanced civilizations have the technology to create simulations, it is highly probable that we are living in one, given the potential for multiple simulations existing simultaneously. So, the simulation hypothesis offers a captivating and mind-bending perspective on our existence, suggesting we might be part of an advanced computer-generated universe. Scientific theories such as quantum mechanics, cosmic fine-tuning and digital physics provide compelling evidence for this idea. Philosophical arguments like Nick Bostrom's further support the notion that advanced civilizations could create multiple simulations, making it highly probable that our reality is one of them. As we delve into these concepts, we are prompted to rethink our understanding of reality and consider the profound implications of living in a simulated world. Could this mean that our lives, emotions and even our sense of self are coded into a complex program? What would this mean for our future and our pursuit of knowledge? This exploration challenges us to push the boundaries of our imagination and scientific inquiry, leaving us with the tantalizing question, if we are indeed living in a simulation, what lies beyond it? Could there be a higher reality waiting to be discovered? Or are we forever bound within the parameters of our simulated existence? The answers to these questions may redefine our place in the universe and our quest for understanding.